I have about six, seven or thereabouts ad accounts that I've been using for over four years and it has not, it has never been banned or restricted. Now, this is because I believe I've been following the Facebook ads policy. And of course, there are certain things which I have been doing that has helped to keep my ad account safe. If you have been advertising on Facebook, if you're a business owner, e-commerce, affiliate marketing, whatever it is, and then you must have noticed that Facebook has been banning people's ad accounts recently. It's crazy. Like Facebook has gone rogue. They ban ad accounts, whether you adhere to policy or not. It's, they restrict, they even restrict pages. They go as far as restricting people's pages, people's business manager, people's ad accounts, and then you have to supply the, the you know information like the identity information and stuff like that I, I understand all of that but in this video i'm going to share with you 10 ways that you can keep your ad account safe and avoid restrictions or banning okay and also even if you get your ad account restricted i'm going to show you exactly how to appeal it and get the ad account back okay so stay with me that's what i'm going to share with you in this video like i said you have noticed that there has been frequent banning and restrictions. It's not just the Nigerian thing, it's general, everywhere around the world. Facebook is, is crazy right now, and it's not fun. For most entrepreneurs, it's not fun. Like I said, I have over Caesar account that I've been using for over four years, it has never been banned. And of course, I have a few other ad accounts also that I have been using to sell some kind of products, right? I use it to do some kind of stuff, and it gets restricted. I appeal and they let me have it. Some they ban. Okay, because I know what I sell and I know that to an extent it's not kind of cool with Facebook, but of course we have to make sales now, right? So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to avoid getting banned. So let's get started straight up. The first one is don't use before and after pictures in your ad image. Also, don't use it on your sales page because whether, I, whether it's the other advert itself or is the sales page, Facebook, before they approve your advert, they will first of all get to your sales page. They will see where the advert is leading to. I mean, this is common knowledge. You should already know this by now. Before they approve your ad, they will scrutinize the ad, scrutinize your sales page, and see where all of this is leading to. If it adheres to their policy, they will approve your advert. So one of the things that can get your ad account banned or restricted is when you use before and after pictures in your ad image or on your sales page. Avoid it. If you want to use it, be creative. You can use it within a video. All right? You can use it within a product video. And you have to use it in a very creative and explanatory way. I hope that makes sense. Second one is you have to avoid deleting comments on your ads. This one is crazy. Truth is, when you start running ads, right, people are going to drop some nasty comments, some very, very silly comments and stuff like that. It's, 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 you should get used to it, okay? You have to limit the way you delete. In fact, you should stop deleting, okay? You should stop deleting because when you do this, Facebook considers, considers it a negative feedback, okay? And every negative feedback that they get from your ad, that is from the engagement on your ad, any negative feedback that they get there can actually trigger a restriction on your, on your ad account. It has a very bad effect. So you should avoid deleting comments, okay? Facebook might be thinking that you're trying to mislead people. In fact, the best thing is just to hide the comments. If any comment goes against your stuff, hide it. Or you go to your page settings and impute certain keywords that you don't want to appear on your ad so that when you are running advert and somebody tries to type in a scam or this or that, it cannot, the comments will not appear. All right? So your best bet is to use that keyword option on your Facebook page settings or you hide every bad comment that you do not want to appear on your ad. You hide it or you report as spam. Okay? You should be also careful the way you report because the more reports, the, the more comments that you report or hide, then Facebook will need to sense some kind of foul play. So it increases your chances of getting restricted. Be careful. Stop deleting comments. Hide them. And 
if some are so nasty, respond to the person politely so that other people can come there and see your response and know that this person is a silly human being, you know? The third one is that you should not advertise multiple website domain on the same ad account. I have different, for instance, I have different, I have up to 60 ad accounts, right? And these ad accounts have, I've assigned different domains. I've, I've registered different domains under each of them. And I will not for any reason whatsoever use these ad accounts for any other domain or any other business. Those are the domains that they are going to be advertising as long as the business stands. So you should avoid choking your ad accounts with multiple domain registration and multiple domain adverts, okay? If you, if you have multiple domains, get more ad accounts. Get more ad accounts. You can register probably two, three domains, and that's enough. But I use one, and I think that one is okay per ad account for me. It has been working for me. It's been over four years, and I've not been restricted or banned. So I think for now, I'm very okay with having having different domains for different ad accounts so that I don't get into any issues with Facebook. The fourth one is you should avoid using copyrighted materials. This one is common. Sometimes when you use certain music in your video, you notice that the music stops at a, at a point, at a point, and then the video continues, but the music is not playing anymore. That is because it's copyrighted. The same thing happens with celebrity pictures and videos and images that you do not have any rights to. Do not use them because if these people see them, in fact, they have bots, they have things that they can see them. Once you use a copyrighted video, music, whatever it is, you are most likely to get a restriction or be banned because you do not have a right to the resources, to those materials. These are the things that can put your ad account in jeopardy. They can put you in a position of getting banned. And that is why I always teach people in my e-commerce class that if you want to sell a product, ensure that you do the video yourself. Create a video yourself so that no one gets to report your ad account for violating their own privacy or for using their own materials, okay? So avoid using copyrighted materials so that you don't, you know, so that you don't get your ad account banned. Don't make claims that are bogus. Don't make claims that are not verifiable. All right? It, it, claims like financial claims, um, health claims, um, family claims, a lot of claims. Don't make claims at all. Facebook does not want any claims on their platform. Okay? How to make $300,000 in three months. How to lose 20 kg in two days. How to drive, uh, how to buy this. In the, don't make claims facebook friends at claims whether on the adverts copy whether on your sales page do not make claims if you want to make claims there are ways that you can creatively make these claims and it will work for you okay i have an, a, a course on e-commerce that i sell with through facebook ads and i don't tell people that's how you can make how you can make or how to make social amounts everyone know what I simply say is how we, what I say is how we, I use us now, how we make so so amount, right? How we make at least, or how we make over so so amount monthly doing e commerce. I'd not say how you can make, I'm not making any claim. I'm, I'm using me and not you. And then I, I go ahead on the copy to explain how we do it, not how you can do it. Watch you. So that you don't fall into the mistake. I explain how we do it. So that you can begin to see yourself in us. I don't say you. I want to avoid Facebook problems. And so I have to creatively find a way to use these things without actually using it. Number six is that you must not use trigger words on your ads, on your landing page, wherever you don't. Lose weight. Don't even use personal attributes like fat. Are you fat? Um, are you black? If you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, if you are a married, don't use personal, don't attack people's personal attributes like fat, short, religious, um, what's it called again? Sexuality. All right? 
mental issues, stuff like that. Don't use those trigger words on your advert. It is going to cause a problem to your ad account, even to your page or to your business manager. So avoid using trigger words. Facebook makes this clear. Personal attributes is a no-no. Number seven is that do not let your ad account balance. You know, there's always money in your ad account, right? right? Because your ad account, if you're using, for instance, in Nigeria, we have two types of ad accounts. We have the postpaid and the prepaid. The prepaid is that it's the Naira ad account. Naira is prepaid. You have to have, you must have money in your ad account before you're able to run adverts. That's for prepaid. For postpaid, it's probably dollar ad account. You can run ad, you can run ad, when you run ad, then after you have spent a certain amount, they will now charge you. So even if you have zero account balance, you can still go ahead to run adverts. After you run a certain amount, or after some days or some weeks, they will now charge you. Now, always ensure that you have money in your ad account, whether it's Naira account or dollar account. Make sure you always have money. Don't allow your money in your account to finish while your ad is still active. This can lead to restriction because when they try to bill you and then the billing fails first time, it can lead to restriction. Second thought, they can restrict your ad account and then they might possibly ban you from there. So ensure that there's always money in your balance. Do not let your ad account balance get empty while your advert is still active. It can trigger restrictions. If you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's all I'm going to ask you. A thumbs up and then if you have any question, of course, the comment section is there for you to ask me any question. Let's continue. So don't mask your URL, your URL, 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 URL whatever. Don't mask your URL, all right? Facebook frowns at this. So the thing now is if you have been using any URL redirect and you notice that over time your ad account has been getting restrictions, but you don't know what the cause might be. This might be the cause. Facebook do not want it at all. They see, once you begin, to, they, they don't want anybody to mask their URL. They want everything to be plain, simple, and straightforward. So you should stop masking your URL. When you begin to redirect URL, Facebook records it as masking and they don't want it. If you want to avoid getting restricted or getting banned, then you should avoid masking your URL. The ninth one is that you have to limit the use of you and your in your copy, your ad copy. You can do this in this. No. You can change it to how I, how we, how my students, how these students, all right? If you want to use you, there, there are instances where you can use you, but it has to be limited. You and you are. Okay? You have to limit it greatly. Rem limit it greatly. I'm not saying you should not use, I'm saying you should limit. Okay? Yes. So the last one, which I'm going to get to, but before we get to the last one, please ensure that you give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that more people get to see my video on YouTube. So the last one is when your ad account gets restricted, you appeal it. You appeal it. Ad account restriction is normal. It happens. All of us, we are chopping this breakfast from Facebook. Okay? It happens all the time. It's not the end of it all. Appeal it if you know you haven't gone against their policy. Okay? You can do all of this. I, honestly, you see, the, I've listed 10 things here. The truth is, you can do all of these 10 things, right? You can try your best to be safe, to be clean, to not go against their policy, and Facebook will still restrict your ad account. They will still ban you. That is, they have gone rogue. They have gone mental. They don't colo. Everybody's just being served this breakfast from Facebook. But that's, by the way, all right? If you notice that your ad account is restricted, do not panic. The simplest way or the best thing to do is to appeal it. And you have to be polite about it. Do not be aggressive. Do not be temperamental. Do not insult them. You can say, hi, I noticed that I was informed that my ad account has been restricted. 
um, this is shocking to me because I know the Facebook ads policy and I have adhered to all your policy. I believe that my ad account was restricted in error. This is because I sell this, that, and that. I sell XYZ products and my target audience are XYZ within the age bracket of this. And this age bracket I have legal age to purchase or to see this kind of adverts. I understand that Facebook does not allow this and that and that. And I have, I have not gone against your policy. I have every reason to believe that my ad account was restricted in error. Therefore, I humbly request that you kindly have a look at this and, and reinstate my ad account or and restore my advertising access so that I can commence advertising and showing my business to the people who need my products or services. I look forward to your kind response. Thank you. You put your name. Simple. Simple. Don't shout. Don't scream. Do you see the way we took it? Calm, gentle, politely. Whoever is reading that, because whoever is going to read it is a, is a human being. Whoever is reading that is going to find it calm, soothing, and, you know, very, very well-coordinated message. And then they will have a look at your at the restriction and they will lift the ban. And then you can, they will restate your advertising assets and then you can start advertising. Like I said, I have, have, I have had some ad accounts that I used to sell some kind of products most times that they get restricted. And then I appeal and they restate it. But I have these very six ad accounts that I use for my business strictly. I don't use them for any other thing. I don't, I don't use them for e-commerce. I don't use them for affiliate marketing for whatever. I have my, my line of business, my series of businesses that I use these ad accounts for. And that is that. I'm not going to touch them for any other business. But for the ones I use for e-commerce and affiliate marketing, sometimes I get restricted. I get some hammer from Facebook. And I politely appeal this stuff and then they reinstate it. If Facebook ban your ad account, go and appeal. If they ban, if they if they restrict your ad account, sorry, appeal. If they restrict your page, also appeal. Okay? Ad account restriction doesn't take long for them to reinstate. It is only page restriction that takes a bit, like a few days. Okay? If, if you have any question, if you have any concern, please use the comment section. Ask me your questions. I'll be there to answer you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video. Leave your comment. If you have anything that, uh, that has been bothering you around Facebook adverts, around page restriction, ad account restriction, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Leave your questions here in the comment section and I will be there to answer you. Uh, another thing, please. If you are an advertiser and you have not been restricted yet, and you have not verified or you have not submitted your document to Facebook to verify you, you should find a way to do so before they begin to restrict you. Once you do so, you stand a better chance of having your account safe. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Use the comment below and I will attend to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.